Are your kids hoping for a pet this Christmas? Well, before you commit to the stress and the mess, maybe the hex bug, Aquabot Smartfish, could be just the ticket. Our Leslie Gatiss finds out if it works. Rosalie has three kids and a cat, and that's enough. I clean up after three kids, so cleaning up after one more pet, uh, it's not to my liking. My kids do always ask about getting a fish, and I dodge that question really fast, divert the conversation, because it is something that I do not want to uh, maintain, clean, handle the whole nine yards. This toy may fill the void. The Hexbug Aquabot with Smart Fish technology. Okay, so a fish that's in the box. Um, I love it. I can already say it's easy maintenance. <laughs> Maybe changing a battery would be the most required work by mummy on yeah. this box. <laughs> the Aquabot fish is supposed to swim at various speeds and depths and has an inner glow. Oh, and it comes with a fish bowl. The $20 set includes one fish, one bowl, and two underwater landscape pieces. Automatically turns on when placed in the water. Automatically. I love it. Well, it <laughs> turns off automatically when removed from the water. So you don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything. We added water, and then the kids added the fish. What's the fishy doing? I don't know. Swimming. Swimming? The fish does indeed swim around and flap his little tail in a realistic manner. You can buy other fish separately for $10 each, so we threw in a goldfish. The packaging says the fish will fall asleep after five minutes of swimming. You're supposed to tap the tank to wake it back up again, and sure enough, it worked. And when this fish goes belly up, you don't have to flush it down the toilet. You just switch out the batteries. Before we knew it, the kids had their fishing poles out and moved the fish to the bathtub for more fun. I love it. I think it's entertainment for the kids. It's pretty realistic. Very realistic. It even feels realistic. The fin uh, has that rubbery texture, so it feels realistic. After a week of playing with the fish, Rosalie says the batteries needed to be replaced. They discovered that the kids didn't need to tap the tank to wake up the fish. Every time they hit the table or move something nearby, it would trigger the fish to start up again. But she likes it. It works. It got the kids' interest. Um, I heard no maintenance. I heard automatically. You have me sold. We say the Hexbug Aquabot Smartfish works. Leslie Gatiss, NECA.